Hey everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to Power World. I don't think I'll ever get tired of just seeing that giant land ball kind of roam around here. Uh, as you can tell, a little bit different, so we have some new berry things here, and then I did end up making the little hot springs, because uh, last time Arcative was getting pretty mad. Um, there still seems to be a little bit of a, maybe pathing issues and whatnot that hopefully will slowly iron out as we progress, and I also got a new Pokemon or pal here. Uh, Love Ander, we had an event, I think it was like fan club or fangirls or something, and it was just a bunch of these coming to attack us, but not too bad, it's actually pretty useful. So I got some new pals over here in our party too, so I caught a Dinosaur. it's level, I think 14, a little bit above our level. I also caught a Hukrati, so it's a dark type, because uh, yeah, I did kind of go out at night and try to capture some of these. I also have a level 3 Daydream, this is uh, actually not too bad, it has lots of positive passive skills over here. And I also got a new... Oh, hey, look. It's that event I was talking about. So we're going to get a lot of uh, Lovanders kind of coming towards us. Man, those things are just rushing towards us. Okay, well, let's set this to attack. They'll kind of, I think, take care of it. Because um, I wanted to build some of this stuff. Yeah, I got the Fox Parks harness. So we could uh, hold it and use it as a flamethrower, apparently. That's going to be pretty dang cool. Obviously, got to take care of these guys first. Let me get that daydream out, because I also want to level that up, because apparently there's an item where if we have it, I think it'll fight alongside us, so we can have essentially two pals out at once. Is it just running away? Did it give up? I mean, I probably would run away too if I saw all these guys in here. But, uh, well, let's go take care of these guys, I guess. Okay, those guys are taken care of. Uh, went ahead and made that harness and the necklace. Ooh, that was kind of... Kind of weird there how that kind of looked. Okay, so we have the harness. I think we're good with that. And I guess the other thing's also automatically equipped. So Dream Chaser, while on team, appears near the player. Follows up player attacks with magic bullets. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So can I have... This one like that. And let's try out that Huggy Fire. Come on. So do I just have a... A flamethrower? I think I do. Oh, sorry, Gamasa. <laughs> Gonna burn that guy alive. Okay, and then, yeah, our little daydream's right there, too. Oh, this is pretty dang cool. Uh, that little meter is kind of going down. So, you know, probably just have to kind of wait a bit for it to recharge and use. But I think that's gonna be pretty dang useful. Let's try it on these uh, poor little Kativa. Oh, yeah, I can't even use it right now. Okay, I have to wait for that to really fill up. Okay, so shouldn't put it down until I'm ready for it to not be used for a while. Also did craft some more equipment. So I got this feathered hairband, which should give us a little bit more defense. Okay, but let's see how our daydream works. Oh, okay, that was kind of cool. Right, it was supposed to follow up our attacks with attack of its own. Yeah, that's not bad. We're going to do quite a bit more damage. Nice, not bad at all. And man, that already got from level 3 to level 5. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, it really pays off to get those harnesses and items like that. I'm also thinking of maybe making some sort of a wall around my base, because as you saw, that little fox parks, I think it went to the water and was almost drowning. I did learn, uh, apparently, if you have the little fire thing in the middle, the pals will walk through it, and that's why I think they're getting uh, kind of knocked out. Either way, went ahead and caught the materials for this primitive furnace. Gosh, I'm debating where to place stuff because this is kind of a mess here. I don't want to block too much of their pathing. Uh, let's just place that right there because then that'll let us get ingots. And then I think I have a recipe for that little monkey guy there so he can get a weapon. Him or the lift monk, one of the two. Ah, uh, yes, teamwork. We just got the whole gang here working on this furnace. Good job, guys. Good job. And then from that, we can make charcoal or ingots. I mean, we have quite a bit. Let's go ahead and just do that. And yeah, that's going to be a little Fox Parks job. And let's double check over here and see what we can do with maybe some of that. I don't think I have too much use here other than maybe the nails for myself. And then let's check over here because, yeah, we got the little submachine gun for Lift Monk. So we need five ingots and a bit more Paldium Fragments. I think we'll have enough ingots, so we just need to get a little bit more Paladium Fragments. Okay, not too bad. Also did learn, uh, apparently if you click C while running, you'll kind of slide. 
And it's pretty good if you're going downhill, because you'll get some real momentum going. And you can kind of combo into parachute gliding. So let's go ahead and get some of this. Because again, the main goal for today is to defeat that boss at the tower. Because we got absolutely destroyed last time. We were doing like pretty much no damage to the dang thing. Okay, I should have enough paldium and ingots. Let's come over here and go ahead and craft that. And while that's going, let's go ahead and upgrade our base. So now we can have eight little pals. So the next quests are high quality workbench, medieval medicine workbench, and then just to have eight pals in total. Okay, that last one's actually not too bad. And I think we'll go ahead and deploy another tansy to the base. They seem pretty dang good. They do almost a little bit of everything. And then let's go ahead and swap out our lift monk with, um, gosh, I was debating maybe who Krates. I just want to see him with the gun. <laughs> That's kind of my main goal right now. But we'll probably have to catch a little bit of a better one. Oh, gosh, I have to make a bed for the pals. Almost forgot about that. And there we go. There's a lift monk's submachine gun. Let's see how that kind of works. I'm actually not sure. Oh, those are in a different category here. Ah, interesting. Let's go ahead and test that out and kind of head towards maybe the boss tower. I don't know if we're quite actually ready to take it on, but uh, we'll kind of head towards that area. I keep forgetting I could fast travel in this game, and I should probably also go to sleep and whatnot. So yeah, we'll do all that in the morning <laughs> and try to find another lift monk. Okay, we got another lift monk over there. Let's go ahead and try to capture him. Uh, definitely not the best one to be fighting it because it's also a grass type. And gosh, he just like completely missed or that one's like just really does not want to fight. Okay, I guess we might just have to take it out with uh, our bone arrow. I think that should be mostly good. Come on. No, 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 don't kill it. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait. Did we take it out or did we capture it? It said lift monk defeated lift monk, but we also threw the ball. Okay, well, I guess we got that one. Oh, gosh, that one's a slacker. Yeah, I just need to find one that has a better trait because the one we have right now is a pacifist. So that means uh, minus 20% attack damage, which is pretty dang bad to say the least. Got some land balls and the little teapot elephant. I also saw that apparently our lovander at the base is kind of slacking off. Maybe it needs another hot spring because we only have one for like eight pals. So it might be, might, might be getting a little crowded there, you know? Ooh, another lift monk over there. Uh, I might, uh, might not even try with a, a pal right now. Just going to take it out with a bow and arrow. Yeah, those guys are really passive. They don't even uh, fight back, apparently. Which is kind of ironic, because then I'm going to have them with like a submachine gun. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That one has heated body. That's at least a little bit better. Ah, uh, there we go. We finally got one that has Artisan, Dainty Eater, and Dragon Killer. Okay, that's way better. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Where the heck are we on the map? So we're kind of along that right side area. Well, I mean, since we're here, might as well do a little bit of uh, exploring. Hey, it's definitely some sort of uh, ruins here. Let's look around and see if maybe we can find a good chest or something. Sure, there has to be one. Oh, uh, we got a Lift Monk Effigy over there. And then it seems like we're maybe getting into a different biome in that area all right parachute go or glider yeah let's grab that and then i could have sworn i saw something else around here oh yeah yeah, yeah. there we go the little i guess it's the lore of the game which i haven't even read once i'm just trying to catch pals here you know let's grab that and then we got another i think they call it the eagle statue but it's for fast travel so we'll go ahead and use that go back to our base and swap out the lift monk for the the better ones Ooh, capriti that's what we saw last time. It's like the half Bulbasaur, half goat thing. Gosh, there's just so much to explore. Makes me want to go everywhere in the game. Okay, that's looking like a pretty good team. We got fire, uh, dark, grass, and dragon. Another grass and one normal. So these all should be, I think, pretty good against the uh, electricity of the boss. Oh, no. We got a Mamoris level 33. I'm... Kind of worried. Uh, is it is it just not actually aggressive until we fight it? Oh, but this one isn't the boss one. Ah, okay. Uh, you saw nothing. Have that question mark go away. I'm kind of tempted to take it on just because we have all our, our pals here. But also worry that might be a 
Horrible, horrible idea. I feel like we'd get a lot of EXP, though. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's get our little fox parks out and then uh, try out that flamethrower because it, it is a grass type, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I, I should sound the alarm. <laughs> We're getting invaded by a mamma rest here. Let's go, go, go. We're in war mode. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, that only does like three damage. Oh, goodness. I think I'm way in over my head here. Oh, my goodness. That was pretty strong. Is it running away? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. But hey, that'd be amazing if we could catch it. I think that. Oh, my. Wow, that one shot me. And I think some of my pals there. Holy guacamole. Okay. Note to self, don't take on the Mamorous. I am not ready. Okay, so it's been a day or two. As you can see, I've actually upgraded my armor. I built that high quality workbench. So we got pelt armor. Has pretty much double the defense and gives us a little bit more health, I believe. Also went ahead and made a metal spear. So now we do pretty much double the damage. Our old spear was about 35. So this one's 80. I'm kind of hoping that along with uh, our kind of upgraded pals should hopefully let us do this. Um, the only kind of underleveled guys may be the Lift Monk and the Daydream. But Daydream's kind of more passive. So we'll kind of have that one kind of in the background. I really wish I did have that Gum Moss or like a, a stone one. That'd be really, really effective here. But um, I'm kind of hoping maybe at least since they're kind of grass, it kind of cancels out. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out again. Here goes nothing. Let's start off with the lift monk. I didn't get to show you guys the machine gun aspect of it, but it's actually incredibly powerful. Also, I kind of always forget I could uh, dodge and whatnot. Okay, let's use their abilities kind of right from the get-go. Let's go ahead and do some flamethrower action here. Maybe that'll cause it to burn. Oh, yeah, gosh. But hey, that's actually already a lot more damage than last time. Oh, gosh. Yeah, now that I know I can dodge and all that, that's incredibly helpful. All right, let's go ahead and uh, back off just a little bit. Gosh, he does so much damage to our Fox Sparks, though. And hey, that's not too bad. I think we did like 74 damage there. Okay, let's back off a bit because uh, if we go down, we kind of automatically lose. Dodge! Oh, that was late. My bad, my bad. Gosh, I really need to get maybe that little... Uh, Medieval Medicine Bench or whatever I think it's called. And let's go ahead and get Dino Awesome out. Show you guys that one. So that was actually level 14, but obviously kind of downgraded to level 13. Not the best matchup, but again, hopefully the grass lets it take a little bit less damage. I just have to dodge a lot more. But yeah, I think we have a pretty solid chance of defeating this guy this time. Already almost down to half health. And it probably would have been even better with, like, the crossbow. Can I cheat that? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> nice. Can I hit the trainer? That'd be kind of good. I think I can. But gosh, that stun attack is pretty powerful. All right, let's get our little lift monk out. Do some more machine gun shots at the guy. Oh, gosh. Gosh, that's just the, the stun gets me every time. Where is he? Oh. I don't think I could dodge all of those. Okay, not bad, not bad. Already down to 10,000 health. As long as I don't mess up really, really badly, I think we got this. Okay, I think our Dinosaur is about to be out. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get our Ether Deer. Oh, gosh. Just like one mess up of a hit, and I'm kind of done for there. Already broke through the shield. Did I not call that guy out? Okay, there he is. Uh, no, stay away from me, sir. Okay, officially out of arrow ammo. Uh, down to the last 1,000 health, essentially. Give him a couple bonks there. Get our little lift monk out and use that machine gun to maybe finish him off. Oh, I think we got this. I think we got this. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, okay. Man, that was brutal. We got some technology points. We leveled up. Um, You good there? Ooh, and now we're at the top of the syndicate tower. Let's go ahead and click that. Got some technology points. We got stat points. Do so I have to... Fly down precariously? I guess so. Man, that was brutal, though. Oh, but this is such a nice view. Man, that's like the perfect area for base right there. Gosh, I can't wait until we unlock like a second base. And then maybe just kind of, you know, make one there. I think that'd be a really good spot. Seems to be kind of uh, more in the middle of stuff. Eh, 
Okay, question is, how do I get down without dying? <laughs> Gosh, I'm kind of... I don't want to go towards that smoke over there. Yeah, sure. Let's try gliding for a bit. Gonna glide. Fall. Glide. Hopefully not break our legs. I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. Why are you wet? <laughs> okay. Ooh, got a chest there. Errol, small pal souls. That's not bad. And hey, we got some new pals here. So we got Sparky and Vixie. Ooh, those are new. We also got a cave. There's also still that cave by the Syndicate Tower, which we didn't check out. Okay, at least they don't seem too aggressive. But man, that face makes it seem like they would be. Oh, hold on. There's like a... A whole town here. Oh, that's what the smoke was. It's a whole little village or something. Small settlement. Oh, this might be kind of huge. Um, I'm totally not just sneaking in here. I don't know if I had to go through like... Customs or something. Okay. Gossiping villager. Ever explored a cave? I've heard that caves are home to loads of unique pals. What's more, there are even treasure troves created by pals with a knack for collecting stuff. Give me a shot if you spot any caves, won't you? Oh. I already saw like two, but I'm not going to tell you. And hey, we got a, a merchant. Level 30. Jeez. Got some good items. Well, yeah, I mean, we actually have a decent amount of money now. 1,692. Got medical supplies for colds and sprains. Ulcer fracture. And weakened and depressed. Doesn't seem like there's actually something for um health. Like a health potion or something. Interesting. Got milk, organs. So kind of a lot of the similar stuff we saw last time. Nothing all that useful. Okay, we got an innkeeper here. How's it going? Welcome. Haven't seen your face before. Did you come from far away? Must have been a long journey. Take your time and rest up. Oh, so I guess there's just like, I could sleep here maybe. I don't know. She's going back to bed. Let's keep looking around. Gosh, there's a lot of merchants. Oh, pal merchant. Uh oh, why is there a guillotine there? <laughs> huh. Hey there. I've got some great pals in stock. No funny business and only legit trading. Guaranteed. You know, you saying that makes it seem even less legit. So he sells a lamb ball, chickpea, eeks their deer, lamb ball, and gobbin. Oh, that's kind of new. So it does a uh, level two of the watering. And I could sell my pals. Oh, that's kind of huge. Because, um, yeah, there's a lot of these guys I just don't really use. Especially the ones with kind of like negative traits. That might not be a bad way to kind of clear up the inventory. I think at some point uh, you can get like a butcher's knife and, you know. Do something with that. So right click and I could choose them like that. Okay. Well. I guess we'll get rid of a couple of them. Mostly just the ones with bad traits. No point in really keeping those. Okay. So in total that's going to be about. 2,341 gold. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, don't really need to buy anything from this guy. But let's keep looking around. Unfortunately it is getting kind of late. And I don't have that torch. Which I probably should have. A reliable PIDF officer. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Hey, pal tamer. There's hardly anyone around here now, but before the rain syndicate came, many more people lived here. Because of them, my income has really taken a hit, you know? If you're in trouble, let me know. As long as you pay, I'll do anything. Oh, so maybe we can get like a hired guard or something. Okay, amateur researcher. Extraordinary strong and big pal. Some kind of leader who controls the pals around. Make your ally. Oh, I think he's talking about like maybe the bosses. We also got like the village chief here. Attacked by an enemy lost a pal. If you have, try asking the pal merchant about it. If your pal's on the market, you might be able to buy it back. Ooh, so there's like a poaching group. Interesting. Oh, this is actually kind of incredible here. I just wish I came when it was a little bit brighter. I, I would assume that's probably most of the people that we've already kind of talked to here. I don't know if there's too many more. We already have the pal merchant guy who might be a poacher thing, if that's what the guy was getting at a little bit there. Okay, here we are back at home. Let's go ahead and start doing uh, some stat upgrades here. Um, I guess mostly going to be health, right? Seems to be the most important almost. Let's come over to technology and try to get some new stuff. Oh yeah, here's that meat cleaver I was talking about. So knife for butchering summon pals when equipped the pet command becomes butcher. Butchered pals will not return. 
I mean, I guess we'll go ahead and lock that. Same thing with the medieval workbench thing. Ooh, Tansy's assault rifle would be probably an upgraded version of the lift monk thing. And ooh, that'd be cool. I really want to get our first mount slash saddle. So I think that'd be really, really good. Houseplant, that's just decorative. Um, I don't think I need too many more things. At least not yet. Poison arrow probably wouldn't be too bad, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of getting the stuff with the glands because that's kind of a hassle to get. At least right now. I think I might just wait for the three-shot bow. And hey, we got some ancient technology points. Okay. I guess we get that from the boss. Let's get that egg incubator. We almost have everything. We just need another little uh, spark plug looking thing. Small feed bag. Ooh, that's pretty good. Because that will automatically uh, feed us and our pals and our inventory. Grappling gun. Oh, that sounds awesome. And pal essence condenser. Combine several pals of the same type to create a higher ranked version. Oh, that sounds incredibly good. Okay. So medieval workbench needs a little bit more nails. I mean, that's not all that bad. How many was it? I already forgot. Gosh. We need five more. Okay, so we have to make six here. Let's get that started. And then... There's that feedback. We just need a little bit more leather. And actually, we could do a, a pretty good number of upgrades. So we could get that meat cleaver, get a metal pickaxe, and a metal axe, which I think would be incredibly useful. And if we come to the PAL thing over here, we just actually need two more ingots for the assault rifle. But uh, quite the number of stuff for the saddle. I think that'd be a pretty good way to uh, kind of roam around. Okay, but I think that's a pretty good place to end it. I think our PAL upgrades with the little weapons and everything definitely helped. Also, our defense. That was a probably a big difference there. Pretty much doubled it. So we could take a couple more hits without passing out. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.